Taoiseach Deputy Noel Grealish, please. Agoramagata Kankorla. Taoiseach, as we head into the summer months and preparations of the forthcoming budget start in earnest, I am seeking an assurance from you and your government that one section of our society are looked after. These are the people who you like to describe as those who get up early in the morning. No matter how early, early they get up, the people of Middle Ireland, those not on the lower ages economically nor those at the upper levels, find that life is a constant struggle. Often referred to as the squeezed middle, they bear the biggest burdens of demand on their income and get the least amount of help from the state. They, they, they could be called the forgotten middle because that's what they feel like. Taoiseach, these are the people who go to work every day and pay their taxes which are higher than the war a decade ago. They are the people who carried this country through the recession to the point where we are today, but they are getting nothing back. The rents are soaring, insurance bills have gone through the roof, school and childcare costs have gone up, fuel prices are probably at their highest level ever, medical costs are rising, and now electricity costs are rising too. Some are living with their parents often with three or four children, trying to save up a deposit for a house, and then they find Taoiseach that they can't get a house in the current market scramble, which can be made even worse by the activities of the housing agency buying up houses in large blocks in private estates. These are the people who get no state benefit, no grants to help their children to go to third level education, despite fees increasing by 131% uh, since 2005. Taoiseach, they are more or less being ignored by the government, which has most of its focus, which has most, most of its focus on other sectors of our society to the detriment of those in the middle, who make the greatest contribution to our economy. Currently, once an Irish worker earns €34,550 a year, they pay half of every euro earned above that figure in direct taxes. So of every ten euro above that figure, income tax, universal social charge and PRSI take almost half of it, leaving them with just a little over five euro. It's all building up a problem in the future for this country. The Irish Tax Institute has warned, for instance, that, that our income tax regime is hindering us in the global race for talent. Some slight progress was made in last year's budget, Tisha can I acknowledge that, such as a small reduction in income tax for the self-employed and a minor reduction in the universal social charge. There is a greater fiscal space in the next budget to do more, and my question to you, Taoiseach, is how are you going to look after the people of Middle Ireland next October in a way that will make a real and substantial difference to them? Thank you, Deputy Greedish. Thanks, um, th thanks very much. The, the, the priority in the budget, as I've said before, uh, is going to be increasing spending on public services uh, and increasing spending on public infrastructure. And that's um, an area from which everyone can benefit. I think everyone in our society, uh, no matter who they are, uh, will benefit from greater investment in infrastructure, whether it's housing, healthcare, schools, uh, broadband, um, action against climate change, you name it. Uh, will also benefit from improvements in public services, like education, for example, and the priority will be uh, increasing resources and spending for public services and public infrastructure. But within a budget package, we will, of course, and we should, and you're right about this, uh, find space to ensure that we do something as well to improve the living standards of hard-working people, the people you mentioned who get up early in the morning, who work late, who work shifts, who work weekends, people who are just about, middle, just about managing people who are very much uh, in Middle Ireland. So the kind of things we anticipate doing will be following on from what's been done in previous budgets. Uh, for example, in the last budget, we were able to reduce the cost of prescription charges for everyone, not just people with medical cards, but also those uh, who have their drugs refunded to the DPS. And we'll be examining ways to do that again, to reduce the cost uh, of, of prescriptions. Uh, in the last two budgets, we've improved um, access to, to childcare and early childhood education. Everyone is now guaranteed two years of free pre preschool for their kids, and that benefits everyone, uh, in addition to uh, subsidised childcare for the same time. And we'll examine ways uh, to improve that too, because you can help people in lots of different ways. And reducing the cost of accessing services uh, can be as important as a pay increase uh, or a tax cut. Self-employed, as always, will be prioritised. Uh, you'll know that we've increased the earned income tax credit for people who are self-employed. Uh, we'll be examining uh, if the resources are there, doing that again. And in recent years, we've extended benefits in return for PRSI to people who are self-employed. 
uh, for example, access to the invalidity pension for the first time, access to the treatment benefit for the first time. And one thing that really struck me during the recession, going around knocking on doors, was meeting people who were self-employed, uh, often people who were working in construction uh, as, as fitters or, 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 or construction workers, people working as architects, for example, uh, who, had lost, who, had, um, who had lost their jobs and uh, were entitled to virtually no social protection because somebody else in the household had an income. And very often that income was the second income in the house. But as a result of that, they were entitled to nothing. And that's why we extended the invalidity pension uh, to people who are self-employed. Uh, and we're looking at ways to extend some form of job seekers benefit to the self-employed as well. Uh, and on tax, you're right. Um, we have a real unfairness and a real anomaly in our tax system in Ireland, is that people on very modest incomes pay the highest rate of income tax. Uh, that's not the norm uh, in other Western European countries. Uh, so it means that somebody on an average income who gets a pay increase, who gets a bonus, who gets an increment, uh, who does extra hours, loses more than half of that in tax in USC. So the first thing we had to do, which is the right thing, was to reduce the USC, to take nearly a million people out of that entirely. Uh, and we've done that over the last couple of years. But the priority now, having taken so many low-paid low people out of the income tax net altogether, uh, is to provide relief Thank to those you, on middle incomes uh, by increasing the point at which uh, people pay that higher rate. Deputy Grealish. Uh, Taoiseach, uh, while I acknowledge your response and uh, what has been done, it's simply not enough. These are the people that bailed out Ireland during the economic crisis. They paid higher income tax, universal social charge was introduced, they paid the property tax, and most of, the, of these people paid their water charges. But they feel forgotten and haven't reaped the reward of the hard work. On the, on the surface, many of these people have good jobs and, sal and salaries, but struggle to make ends meet and are both time and cash. Commitment now to these people that you personally describe as those who get up early in the morning will be looked after properly, properly and not just small tokens here and there when you uh, bring forward the budget in October, Taoiseach. Good, please. Short answer to your question, Deputy, is yes. Uh, part of my mission in politics is to make sure that uh, everyone experiences an increase in their standard of living. And we shouldn't, in that context, forget all of the people um, who receive very little support from the state, uh, people who pay a lot of taxes um, but don't qualify for uh, any, of the, any or many of the benefits um, that the state provides because of means testing and so on. And that's why um, I have a particular interest in removing that real unfairness that exists in our tax system in Ireland, whereby people who earn less than the average wage, the average person working full-time in Ireland earns about €44,000 a year, uh, yet on 36000 you hit that high rate of income tax. Um, it's far too soon. Uh, and I'd like to see fewer people paying that highest rate of income tax, uh, and I want to see uh, people paying less of their income at that higher rate. Uh, and it is um, a real disincentive, I think, uh, and one that needs to, be, uh, needs to be improved. However, we must do all of this uh, in the context of prudent management of our public finances. Uh, we want to balance the books and we want to reduce the debt. Uh, our economy is growing well, it's growing fast, we're approaching full employment and I want to make sure that we don't repeat the mistakes of the past. Thank you, so I'm not going to fund increases in public spending or tax cuts through additional borrowing, even though some people would like us to do that. Thank you, Taoiseach. That concludes leaders' questions.